Thank you for joining me for my full deck redo in 2022. I am altering a complete deck of playing cards. I did one last year, and you can see it hanging there in my studio. I did 52 cards in 52 days. This year, I'm going to be a little friendlier to myself and alter 52 cards in 52 weeks, one a week this year. Last year, I was working with some watercolor and collage and salt, I believe, on the card last year that I am redoing. This year, I am going to continue with watercolor, but I believe I'm going to doodle on the watercolor blob. You can find me in some other places on the web. I'm completely redoing my website adding some shopping for craft supplies through affiliate links and Amazon, putting all my favorite craft supplies in one place. So give me some time, and I will have that together. And, of course, that is always appreciated. If you subscribe to my channel, I would be very grateful. I hope you will. If you enjoy short, concise videos that are kind of to the point, kind of all over the place, you'll like my channel. So to get started on this card, I am cutting the watercolor, 140 pound inexpensive watercolor paper, just to the size of the card. And now that that is trimmed down, I will fold down the corner where the denomination of the card is shown and tear that edge off. I want to show the denomination of the card this year on every card that I do. I'm using art glitter glue to glue that down and I'll let that glue set up and dry before I start working it with the watercolor. So I've just wet my paper and now I am laying down some Titan buff to give this just a muted neutral background and I'm just placing the paint on the paper and allowing it to do its own thing. I am not a watercolor artist. I am not good with watercolors. So what you will see me do here is something that's very easy and something that doesn't require a tremendous amount of talent with this medium. So I'm blobbing the cerulean blue that is lightened a little bit with the Titan buff onto the paper. I'm going to speed up the drawing just a bit with my heat gun, being careful not to melt my card. And now I'm adding some pink. And I can't remember the name of that color. This is just a little um, Daniel Smith travel pack of watercolors. So I'm just adding that pink to his little crown and giving him a little bit of pink highlights in his body. And I'm referring to my bird as a him because it is usually the males that are more dominant in color in the bird world. It's taking that blue in a little stronger tone and Putting in my wings. And I hope that by me working in mediums that I don't know anything about and I'm not very comfortable in that it will inspire and encourage you to step out and try different things. That has been my whole journey in this mixed media world. I just started in it last year. I knew nothing about anything. And that's why you see my channel all over the place. Because I am um, experimenting, exploring, and trying to learn all of the different techniques, all the different processes, all the different mediums, the substrates, the difference in paper, the difference in paint. There's a lot going on in this mixed media world. So if you 
want to join me in that exploration, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and just walk along this path with me and we'll learn together. And if there's anything you would like to see me try, just let me know in the comments and you know, step out there and give it a whirl. And eventually, I will probably find something that I really, really am passionate about and, and want to stick with. But I've always been one to like to try lots of different things. I even found that, I know I'm rambling, but this is this is a, my forum, right? So in the jewelry world, I fabricated jewelry. I love to set stones. I love to work with sterling silver and actually fabricate and create the piece. And then I got into enameling and acid etching and all different types of things along that world as well. So it's kind of my nature, I guess. I have drawn my little bird in pencil first before I went over him with this ink pen. And now on his little legs, I'm trying to decide to knee or not to knee. Do I want him to have little knees or not? So I'm going to put that aside for a second and go ahead and doodle some circles on his chest. And we'll figure out the leg issue. So do I want no knees? Or do I want knees? I think he's going to have knees. Let's give him a little knee. Now erasing the pencil lines. I'm becoming happy with him. I'm going to add a little more detail on his crown. Round off the edges. And then inking around the outside edges and I decided just to use a vintage photo. To kind of go with the muted background. And there is what that looks like next to last year's little bird. And I have to admit, when I pull out these cards from last year, some of them I think are a little rough. And that may be from 52 cards in 52 days, but I am enjoying completely redoing them, revisiting what I was working on at that particular time last year. So let's just go ahead and label these 2022 and 2021. And it's kind of nice to see how you've grown over the years or over the year. But this is my little doodle bird on the Jack of Spades. I hope you enjoyed his creation. I apologize for the rambling, but Kind of, kind of not, you know what I mean? And I hope you will take a moment, subscribe to my channel. I always appreciate your comments. That like button helps me exponentially in the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much for that as well. I shall see you on the Queen of Spades. Bye for now.